excited room uh, back there. Uh, you know, this was a guy, you know, Gogo was a guy that uh, we had going in the lottery. Uh, they had, you know, a lot of people in the league uh, had him as, uh, you know, top 10, top 12 uh, pick in this draft. And uh, when uh, we saw that uh, we had an opportunity to possibly uh, see him fall to us, uh, I mean, you know, everybody's just going crazy back there. So, you know, you get a, a seven footer that's uh, skillful uh, in a sense, he can shoot the three, he handles the ball. Uh, he's a good passer uh, defensively. He defends the basket. He blocks shots. A two-way player and a guy who's been playing uh, in a good league uh, professionally, you know, for a couple of years now. So, um, uh, just very excited to, uh, you know, have him be able to to, to get him at uh, 18th pick. Is he a project? Is he a rotation player immediately? People, I think, wonder what this means for the. Centers already on your roster. Well, I didn't. I did I, again. I I didn't study him because we didn't think that he would fall to us. But uh, from the conversation in the room, he's ready to play now. Uh, you know, so we have uh, three bigs that uh, can play and will play. Uh, he, uh, from what uh, I was told, is ready to play now. And I know you said just said you, you didn't see much of him yourself, study him. But, but what can you say about the uh, the level of competition that he's faced so far? I mean, he played in the Euro League. We know just recently. Uh, obviously, it's going to be a step up to the next level. No matter yeah, what. but you know, he's with. Uh, I was so he's been playing against pros, and uh, you know, he's a, a it's a very talented league, and uh, he is a guy that can step in and play right away. Uh, we we he's not a project. We we're not looking at him as a project. Uh, very excited to uh, have a guy that we can bring in and, and play and help us. We feel that uh, he can help us, uh, you know, this coming season uh, with his, uh, you know, his skill to shoot the, you know, shoot the three ball, handle the ball, uh, pass the ball, and, uh, you know, also defend the basket. So he's not a guy that, uh, you know, of course we're going to have to work with him because he's young, but uh, uh, we feel he's a guy that, uh is, is ready to play next season. Nate, hate to ask you a question. I really do, um, based on somebody else. But the same guy that's been telling us who's going to get drafted and has been right about every pick so far says Oladipo might not be able to play until January. What do you know about when is Drake supposed to play? Can't, I can't uh, answer that. Um, you know, he's doing well. We, we know that he's doing well as far as – uh, you know, where he's at and uh, the time frame in, in which he uh, is going to come back or should be back. I haven't been told that. So for someone else to say uh, that, uh, you know, January or the beginning of the season, um, that's not something that we can answer right now. Nate, for people who don't watch Montenegro basketball on a regular basis, who would you compare him to as far as skill set Maybe a, a a current player who he compares to. I I'm just watching again the the little video I saw uh, a few seconds ago on him because we uh, as I mentioned uh, we had him in the lottery uh, and uh, I I wasn't given film um, uh, on him to study him uh, but looking at him and uh, listening to our scouts and Kevin and Chad and those guys talk about him the things that he can do. Uh, very similar to Sabonis, a player we uh, currently have, a, a guy that can step out, uh, shoot the ball. He can handle the ball. Uh, you know, he, he's a good passer. Um, you know, defensively, you know, he defends the basket and blocks shots. And, uh, you know, he's playing in a good league. So, you know, the comparison that was, uh, you know, said in the room, ver somewhat similar to Sabonis. Uh, there's um, you got three centers now. <clears throat> How do you find minutes for all three of them? Assuming you have all three on the roster when you start camp, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. I, I think these guys, you know, with their ability to, uh, you know, shoot the ball from the perimeter, um, we'll we'll figure out that 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 rotation. <laughs> In terms of how he plays on the interior, do you see him? as more of a post-up, a physical guy as well? 
from what the room was saying? I think he can play both in the in the post as well as on the perimeter. Uh, you know, his his ability to pass the ball, they talked about that uh, a lot. Uh, uh, and I saw some clips of him on the post making passes uh, out of the post, uh, his ability to stretch the floor and shoot the three. So he's a guy that, you know, can, you know, come over and play NBA basketball, uh, you know, where the centers are now playing out on the floor, uh, picking and rolling, picking and popping, uh, making reads, uh, you know, making uh, decisions uh, with the basketball. Uh, he'll be able to do, should be able to do both.